Hi all, Plant Side Agent here. Today we're going to take a look at what happens if you add carbon felt to the uh, Goss Hawk open coil stove. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, let's get started. Uh, I had a comment uh, on the previous video I made on the, uh, the Goss Hawk uh, burner stove, the uh, all brass one, and I'll put a video, I'll put a link to that video in the description section. Anyway, the commenter wondered uh, what would happen if you put uh, carbon felt inside the uh, open coil goshawk stove. Um, I know a lot of, I've seen several videos where people put um, carbon felt inside uh, Trangias, um, and it uh, looks like it improves the performance on them. Uh, of course, the Trangi is a little bit different stove in that it has the inner wall and it has the uh, the jet holes. You're probably all familiar with that. So one of the, I think one of the reasons that uh, about adding it to this one is that this is pretty open, and if you tipped it, all the alcohol would uh, would dump right out. So they thought maybe that would help, you know, avoid the spill. Um, I got to thinking about it, and I think it's it's going to hinder performance because the fuel, the vent, the fuel has to kind of wick up in the copper tubes. I don't know if you can really get in here to see that. Um, and then comes out the little, the jet holes. I think it's going to, in, it's going to hinder that process. So I thought, I'll just give it a try. What the heck? So what I did was I went out and um, I measured it. I cut off an inch and a quarter of uh, carbon felt, a length of that, and then I just rolled it up and uh, I'm going to stuff it inside the uh, the stove and uh, see uh, and I'll go ahead and fire it up and we'll see how it affects the uh, the burn performance so uh, but I think for starters I'm going to go ahead and then show you what the normal burn looks like for this stove and then we'll see what happens when I add the carbon felt so uh, let me go ahead and uh, get this thing set up okay I put the stove inside the uh, the, the windscreen burner holder the, uh, from Goshawk and added some alcohol to it and I'm going to do both the uh, burn tests using the, the pot stand from the goshawk so let's go ahead and fire this off uh, one of the reasons they say they they use the copper tubing in here is it's it kind of preheats and gets the bloom time a lot quicker so I also did a burn test and boil test on the uh, video where I talked about this whole kit you want to watch that. So when I fired that off, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the lights off so we get a better view of the bloom and burn. As you can see, it's warming up pretty quick. You should start seeing the little uh, jets fire off. Yeah, that, I guess that looks good. I didn't set a timer on this. I guess if you're really curious, you can watch the time <laughs> on the bottom of the video. There we go. You can start to see the first jets. The jets are starting to, to form. Get in a little mini new. Oops. A little closer. There you go. Now you can see the little jets. And when it starts to burn off, you get the turbo effect. Now when I did my boil test using this, uh, I got two cups of uh, 50 degree water to uh, boil in seven minutes and 35 seconds, which is a, a respectable time. In this setup, this worked much faster than the uh, Trangia. The Trangia took about uh, almost 10 minutes to, uh, to boil off, or to come to a boil. And of course, it was pretty cold in the garage that day, it was uh, 50 degrees. Although today it's about, uh, oh, it's almost 60, sheesh, <laughs> having a heat wave. So anyway, you can see it's it kind of gets that little turbo swirl, which concentrates the flame at the um, bottom of the pot, which is nice. It's, it's a nice little setup. Of course, like you said, there's just the alcohol just sitting in the bottom of this. So if you tipped it over, you'd have a heck of a mess. But, you know, sometimes you, you just have to be careful in life. <laughs> So anyway, that's uh, what it normally looks like when it's uh, 
when it's burning. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut this down and uh, I'll load in the carbon felt and re recharge the fuel and uh, we'll see what how that affects the burn because you've all seen how it normally works. So we'll go ahead and snuff this. Another nice thing, the snuffer fits right in here. There you go. So I'll get the other set up and get right back to you. Okay, I got the uh, carbon felt put inside the stove and the, the, it's already wicked up into this. And then if you tip it will, you can tip it over and I guess you could get some some spillage, but it's not going to slop around. But say I, even with the regular uh, Trangias or any of the other alcohol stoves, I, I never really too concerned with the tipping over. I always try to make everything stable. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, we'll throw this back in the uh, Reset the uh, pot stands. I guess I really don't have to do that. I'm not going to put a pot on this. It's just a reflex action. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll fire this off and see what happens. I suspect that we're not going to get the jets because it, it's all going to be concentrated. Most of the fuel is probably now concentrated inside the uh, carbon film. But just for... Uh, Curiosity's sake, we'll do this. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the uh, lights off again. There you go. I guess you can see that burn. And you'll see that uh, most of the fuel is definitely coming out of the wick, but that's what it does without the wick. But we'll leave it... Uh, burn for uh, a little bit of time to see if we uh, do get any jetting out of the uh, copper tubes. Well, yeah, looks like uh, we are getting some jetting. Should do a, a boil test just to see if it's uh, hinders their performance, but it looks like the uh, the jets did fire off. So it's like you can put some uh, carbon felt in there. I don't know if once the the fuel is brought up more into the wick that it would uh, hinder the, uh, the performance later on, but it did bloom. The jets are going, although you're not getting quite the the turbo effect that you did without the carbon felt. I doubt that it really would affect the performance whether it burned quicker or not. So, hmm, I'm tempted. Yeah, I'll tell you what, <laughs> just for my own curiosity, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shut this down for a minute and uh, we'll uh, set up for uh, a boil test if you're interested. Okay, I got the water and the timer all set up. Let's go ahead and fire the stove off. Again. And I'll go ahead and put it on. Get a lid. Oops, I best better start it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn this off for a little bit and uh, I'll come back when we get a little closer to a boil. Okay, I should in my. Uh, boil test tell you what kind of fuel I'm using because it does make a difference. But what I always use is the uh, yellow heat. Okay getting close up to uh, 210 and I think we're just about there. It's boiling like crazy inside the pot. So if you go to all the, right to the 212. Yeah sometimes it doesn't want to doesn't want to tip over to the 212. We'll just go ahead and say it was uh, 730 for a rolling boil because that's that's what it was so it's about the same as uh, without the uh, carbon felt so it uh, doesn't either doesn't doesn't seem to it uh, really enhance or hinder the uh, performance of the stove by putting the uh, carbon felt in there the advantage of the carbon felt would be that um, you wouldn't have to worry so much about uh, a major spill if you tipped it over uh, 
on the other hand uh, one thing about this particular stove because it's open if you do want to uh, uh, take out any of the uh, excess fuel and put it back in your fuel bottle without the carbon felt it's actually really easy to tip back in to the bottle unlike uh, the uh, the Trangia style with the holes that you really it's difficult to <laughs> not create a mess by trying to pour it back in I never try but anyway I did with this one I did uh, one of my previous burns I did pour the excess out and it poured out really well so that would be uh, I guess consideration is uh, whether one you're worried about which which is your greater concern am I worried about spillage or am I worried about uh, porting the excess fuel back into the bottle and of course it, these do have the rubber gasket like the Trangias and they will seal so I think I did a spill test on my previous video don't remember now <laughs> I'll have to go back and watch it so anyway enough rambling on um, so I think that's it uh, for this video uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you next time bye bye